So I want to counsel you to deny that voice of death, uh, deny that voice of death, any voice in your life. Deny its voice. Deny its speaking to you. Uh, don't quit in the middle. You're going to be a finisher. And I felt like I needed to address this this morning. I wrote this down when I first got here this weekend. I need to deal with death. Need to deal with it. I just didn't know when. I didn't know when. Because I know how this works. It, 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 it wants you to quit in the middle. Give you an excuse, give you a reason, mesmerize you. I, I counseled people at, at, at the altar who were being mesmerized into beautiful death. It's a lie. It's an absolute lie. You are to finish your days. Are you sick? Get healed. There's a promise for you. Are you struggling? Get delivered. There's a promise for you. Don't quit in the middle. There's a breakthrough for you. And I want to very, very candidly just, just invite you and, and openly invite you that if you're dealing with death, if you're dealing with suicide, if you really like, like something's going on here, like it's scary, you know, like you're wrestling with this thing, I'm going to invite you to come to the front. Today is your day of deliverance. I don't know about you back home. We do things as a family. We just like, I, I have a problem. I just come and tell whoever. I don't care, you know. That's how we deal with it. I want to invite you to come, okay, and to deny death a voice. Basically, when you come up to this front, you're saying, I'm denying death a voice in my life. I'm denying it right now. I'm going to finish my days. You know, because the Lord wants to meet you and encounter you with his vision today. He wants to encounter you with a vision for long life, a vision to carry his glory. He wants to, you know, a death and darkness go right together. In the Bible, they're always wrapped together. And he wants to explode the voice of darkness and death off of your life today. He wants to do, I feel the anointing for deliverance right here right now and some of you I know you're scared you don't want to get up and admit it come on you don't want to admit it you need to admit it you're I'm gonna deny death a voice I'm denying this voice in my life I've had enough this thing bullies people into submission it doesn't play fair and it hits you in the dark it hits you at night This thing is going to come off of your life. There is nothing to be ashamed of. There's obviously something in your, your, in your, in your uh, DNA, in, in the life flow that God has for you that death would try to steal. You have to understand what this is about. There's always a battle for something that God has for you. Okay, because Satan is a thief. He's a destroyer. <sighs> And I love that you are so courageous and admitting it. I love this, okay? Because this is the end of this thing. This is the end of this thing. You are valuable. You are loved. Jesus sent me here today specifically to talk to you. Don't quit in the middle. Finish, 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 finish. It's time to hope again. It's time to dream again. It's time to lay hold of those things again. Okay, you are, you do matter. You do matter. You do matter. You matter. You matter. I want you to stretch your hands out to the Lord. <clears throat> stretch your hands out to the Lord. First of all, if you don't know Jesus, right here, right now i want you to give your life to jesus or recommit because some of you you've you've even drawn back from the lord because you've just been in such torment i want you to just just as an act of faith even if you're having trouble feeling it but you know this is what you got to do step over the chicken line and go ahead and give your life back to him lord jesus repeat me lord jesus i recommit my life i commit my life to you forgive me my sins be the lord and savior of my life take over everything i commit my my days to you 
every day to you. I submit to you and I choose to live. I will not die and you are the length of my days. And Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for a tremendous deliverance on this line here. The Lord is setting you free in the name of Jesus. I command all of that to just come off of you. You are a beautiful, talented, creative woman. I see artistry on you. I see creativity on you. Um, I, I see the ability to make beautiful things. And so, Lord, I just release that. Lord, we need her, her beauty. We need the expression of beauty to come out and be seen and demonstrated, Lord. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that death is broken and life is released. Thank you, Lord. Death ceased. Death stops speaking to her. In Jesus' name, your neck belongs to Jesus. That belongs to Him. You have a voice. You are going to speak. People are going to hear you speak. They're going to hear you express beautiful words. They're going to hear you articulate beautiful things. I can see the voice of God just uh, expressing through you powerfully. And so I put a guard around your neck. This neck belongs to the Lord. And Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you are you are surrounding her with friends. Friends that will help her. Friends that will lift her. Friends that will do right to her. I thank you, Lord, that you have a plan and you have a purpose for her. I thank you, Jesus. She will live out every day of her life. Not one day will be lost. I thank you, Lord. I sanctify her and consecrate her to your plans, your purposes for her. I just thank you, Jesus, that you have called her out, that she is a firebrand, that she is a preacher, she is an articulator of the scriptures, she is a prophesier, she is a miracle worker, she is a business woman, and she is wealthy. I thank you, God, that when the day comes, you will bring her into her own household, her own I thank you, Lord, you have blessed her. More, 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 more. Can we get the prayer team to come up? Is there a prayer team? I, if, if there's a prayer team and, and you're, I guess I assume you're identifiable, can you begin to pray for people, prophesy over them? Because they need to see, they need to see the end. They need to see the end. Just go out amongst the people. Just go out amongst them. Just begin to pray for them. Make sure every person that's up here it receives prayer. Because they, they need a personal touch today. If you are out in the crowd, we are we are breaking death off of people that you sit in church with every week. I need you to pray. I need you to pray. I need you to participate. I need you to come into this thing. There is a deliverance. There is a deliverance from death here. I hate that thing. I just thank you, God, that she will live out her days. I thank you, Lord, that you are giving her a vibrant, vibrant life, God, a vibrant life. Lord, that depression comes off of her. The voice of death ceases to speak to her. We command death to leave you in Jesus' mighty name. You have been consecrated and set apart to live, to live, to live, to live. Kasha, you are a blessing. You are a blessing and you will bless the rest. And I thank you, Lord, for her life. She matters. She counts. Every day matters. Thank you, Lord, for delivering this woman, delivering her from death, delivering her from, from voices that speak lies. Every argument is taken captive. She will live and not die. Are you up for prayer? Okay. Lord, I just thank you for perfect peace.
perfect peace. That her mind, her mind. Okay, I'm gonna tap my mind. Okay. I've done this before. If it'll blow out that stuff.